Hi Libra, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for June 2020. Welcome to the romance reading. I hope you had a look at the uh, general reading this week. They were absolutely amazing and I've been using my new deck and I'm going to use it again, the Shadowland Tarot deck and then you most probably also have heard that um, I'm organizing a competition because you can win one of these decks and whether it's for beginners or advanced readers it's a beautiful beautiful deck to work with and it is by Monica Bovinsky Brovinsky. and it's a beautiful deck color pictures and an absolutely detailed um, explanation on how to use them and how to start the uh, reading spreads etc etc and it, it has even more in it but go and have a look um, at the review okay go and have a look at the review and you have also um, numerology I believe in this uh, hang on a minute I'll just have a look yes you've got the numerology and the interpretations there you go and that's something extra these are all the cards and the meanings and the numbering and then what each uh, number 1 to 10 means. Okay, so go and have a look and um, enjoy. Okay, so Libra, I'm going to start off with this beautiful reading and yeah, overall the energy is positive. You can see that the tide is changing, not only for your reading. Okay, and let's hope it stays that way, that things are getting better and better and a little bit more to the old-fashioned way of life okay as we knew it although there will be differences if, uh, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me then the details are below this video in the description box or you can go to the right hand corner the top right hand corner and you will see uh, a white circle and click on that and that will uh, keep you uh, take you to the website and keep you informed and up to date as I'll be updating my uh, uh, website this week and I will be also uh, the updates with the, about the competition I will uh, put that on my website and I'll uh, put a link in the community tab on YouTube with the link and keep you posted if something changes okay so here we're going to go and uh, you, the first card you have is the King of Swords the King of Swords is Gemini you can see he's the writing here and perhaps you might be uh, getting married perhaps you might be seeking uh, advice from a uh, an, an, a marriage uh, well okay a marriage guidance counselor came in first of all so I do have to take that message but perhaps you're drawing up contracts a notary public or an advocate to draw up a marriage contract or a living together contract Wow that sounds pretty good because the king of um, uh, source is Gemini don't exclude Libra or the Aquarius and the swords do stand for institutions and municipalities justice is an institution and a municipality so the courts so you uh, but also municipalities like the registry office not only lawyers and advocates but also surgeons so you might be drawing up a contract to get married or a prenup you've got the lovers again highlighting the Gemini uh, the lovers is re represented with Gemini so don't exclude Libra or Aquarius but you might be getting married to one of the other air signs now the two different authors and what I'm also seeing is lines here you can see pillars so there is a new beginning you have met your soulmate but I see also lines going down here so you are parallel you are parallels 
soulmates you know what the other things you feel as one just like the Gemini Libra you've got the Queen of Cups you might have met a Libra no 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 that's the uh, that's the water sign the water sign is Scorpio the next sign upwards so the Queen of Cups is Scorpio so you might have met a Scorpio that you feel uh, that is your twin flame but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces Ooh, I think it is more Scorpio because look at the orange mm, that's the King of Wands after Scorpio you get Sagittarius so this Scorpio could be Scorpio um, uh, Scorpio Sun Moon or Rising Sagittarius or it could just be a Sagittarius the King of uh, uh, Wands is Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius those are the people that are in your uh, reading okay so you've got the Gemini you've got the Queen of Cups which is Scorpio you've got the King of Wands which is Aries let's see if, and you've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is Leo so there again and you've got the Page of Wands so that is um, Sagittarius okay now who else you've got uh, uh, again you've got Leo here so Leo is prominent Leo is definitely prominent so so Leo and Gemini those are the two prominent signs in the reading that done out of the way I can continue so you um, you could be coupling up with a queen that is rising or moon signs um, Aries or uh, Leo or Sagittarius okay this could be a very fiery person fiery mean that she stands for, she knows what she wants and she goes for it okay and she is very independent she's a career woman usually and she is very active and creative Ooh, and very passionate so Libra know their borders and know your borders okay know how far you can go because otherwise you'll be worn out you you are air so air to uh, to fire is actually it, it, it burns quicker so slow things down if it is an Aries okay or a Sagittarius or a Leo with the Queen of Cups I think uh, that Scorpio you uh, you can take it easier but be careful because um, they're very sensitive you are sensitive too but you have your emotions more or less under control don't be too flippant okay slow down a bit Jim <laughs> or Libra sorry and don't don't slow down to the stage of stagnation and procrastination weighing everything up okay because then you'll lose the time if you don't take it when it's on offer it will pass your nose by definitely so let's have a look you've met your soulmate I think you want to get married or you are getting married uh, because you've got here you've got the judicial man writing contracts writing a letter of official officiality could be a love letter to your soulmate obviously but um, because you are an air sign but you're not the king of swords but you must not exclude Libra okay so you could be writing uh, a, perhaps a speech for at the wedding but you're write or a love letter to your dear one which could be a Gemini and the Queen of Water Scorpio or the King of Wands and Aries he definitely knows what he wants like the Queen and you've got uh, the page here and the Queen so you've got a pair 
so there is a coupling up this month or working towards coupling up okay you've got the nine of pentacles there is an ending about um, mundane uh, routine uh, or mon mundane things about life there's going to be a new voluptuous loving beginning and that it will be perhaps with house perhaps you are buying a house you want to be free you don't want to be in an apartment on your own anymore you want to be together with somebody else and now perhaps you've had that promotion or you've got that job and you can and you've been working for a couple of months and you can buy that house together Woo! because we've got the two of cups you are emotional in balance look at this it is definitely confirming that your relationship is balanced and you've got the queen of wands and she goes for it ooh, ooh, ooh. she might even persuade you to do something that you you're not feeling safe you can you can go with it go with this new beginning if you want her then you'll have to go and do what she wants you will get news this could be this is the page the page of ones so you might get news from a Sagittarius but you will definitely get news and usually this is about a job or about buying a house perhaps this is news that your mortgage agreement has gone through if you're not getting married awesome the overall card is moving home honeymoon holiday birth birth of a project birth of a child perhaps you find out that you are pregnant or your partner is pregnant Ooh, nice one <laughs> great stuff you are in the spotlight and you've got 19 so that is a 22 two 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 is balance again two two the twins are two so something is in the dark right something has been illuminated but you are in the spotlight there might even be a Leo like I said Wow beautiful times are ahead a relationship will go up a level or you'll get a promotion at work so that the relationship can go up a level you might be going from an apartment to a house and garden you're not in the cage anymore okay Wow there's no more delays whoopee you've got this new beginning and you might not have all the information but be listen to your intuition okay listen to your intuition and take that leap of faith ask the hand from in marriage even if you were partnered up before there will be a reconciliation but take it slowly and steady like I said don't get burnt out you've got too much fire here you've got the king of fire you've got the what was it um, gosh you've got the king of fire you have the Sun Leo could be a Sagittarius or an Aries where was the uh, Sagittarius okay so don't get burnt up reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so if you want them back the possibility is there but if it is if it is uh, because we've got Gemini we've got Aries uh, we've got um, Leo, Leo, um, and Sagittarius. So you've got if it's a fire sign that's coming back, and you are involved with a Gemini now, or with um, the Queen of Cups, a Scorpio, then just make sure that um, you think about what you want you're also getting back what was and that you are free from there might have been passion really
but I think you're with your soulmate now. Whoever it is, you decide. You stand in your power, okay? Okay, and you've got Vermilion. Vermilion. The Vermilion Angel Feather. And the Vermilion Angel Feather is like an orange, a darker orange. And I'm going to, uh, it's the light a candle. The angels feel your bereavement and loss and are here to wipe away your tears. That could be somebody from the past. Perhaps you're remembering things from the past. Perhaps you felt that was your soulmate in the past as well. But perhaps you didn't have the cups and the lovers together in one reading in that time. So this is just confirming about the lovers, okay? So you might be sad, um, or you might have lost somebody, and you've met somebody new. But remember, something new and a new start will bring excitement with it. Just be cautious. Just be cautious. You've got the full card. You can take the jump, but listen to your intuition. Know your boundaries and know other people's boundaries. Don't make the same mistakes. The familiar angel feather is presented as a symbol of precious love. The angels have been closely wrapping their wings around you since your loved one passed. Well, I would rather say loss. They ask that you now connect with your loved one in the spirit world light a candle near a photo of them and say any prayer then ask that they give you a sign now or in the future that they are around you each time you light a candle with love in your heart your spiritual connection grows know that the angels have been delivered r delivering love from your loved one to you whilst you sleep every night your love is eternal well if you are getting married then perhaps you and you've lost a parent let's say that a mother and a father and you wished that they would be there with you at the wedding and they can't be then just do this light a candle buy their photo and say mum dad I'm getting married I love you I know you'll be there in spirit because they will be just let them know sin sight jasper iron quartz it are the crystals that you can use to carry your make your worry or sadness lighter okay archangel sandal form the angel of te tears is here I call upon sandal form to help you lighten your heart okay now Archangel Zadkiel is the angel of prayer comforts the grieving okay now so you've got two angels but what I just saw is you've got a lot of orange that is fire okay but orange is also the secretal chakra okay and look what we've got here birth of a child perhaps perhaps that's what you're upset about that you can't tell your parents about or share with your parents they've sent this child perhaps to you perhaps you couldn't get pregnant and now you can perhaps that is the news that you're pregnant oh I'm getting all cold here oh this is emotional I know it won't resonate with all of you, but I'm reading for thousands of people. So please, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign if it doesn't resonate with you. Take care and God bless. Please share and like the video and I hope to see you in the life. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.
take care, God bless and stay safe.